Thanks for staying with us. So, um, in the past few days, one major topic has dominated the social media space, which is domestic violence. Due to the ugly incident that allegedly led to the gruesome death of Bimbo Ogbona, the wife of the socialite and auto merchant Ikechuku Ogbona, fondly regarded as IVD. Many heartbreaking stories are beginning to unfold on social media space just because of this matter. Many families <laughs> and friends are saying, please help my, help my mom, help my aunt, help my family. I can't continue like this. I can't let my mother stay in this mm. kind of treatment. And it has, it, has, it, has, it has endeared many people to this story. Now, the story of IVD and the late bimbo is quite heartbreaking because reports have it that this is not the first time we're hearing of a domestic violence from that home. That it happened sometime in 2019, and um, there's been repeated issues of domestic violence, but somehow she's always gone back, which is, always, which is the very mm -hmm. familiar narrative we hear in these kind of situations where people always go back because they feel that they're, doing, they're going back for their children or for their financial security and other things. But today, we're, taking at it, we're looking at it from the other angle that now with this story, many people are coming out to say, please help my mother. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I want to get my mother out of this. I want to get my loved one out of this situation. What are your thoughts? Let's start with the IVD story. Uh, what, what, what's your thoughts on it? And um, what, give us a brief background of how the story is. For those who have no idea what the IVD story is about, now let Ponyport share the background with us. All right, so from what um, we have been seeing on social media, the stories that have been making the rounds, it was said that Bimbo, the late Bimbo, uh, got married to, or she started a relationship, she got into that relationship with IVD at um, age 18, and that um, at some point she was giving, or uh, she gave a uh, school fees to IVD, that um, according to how they said it, that IVD uh, didn't have anything, but, you know, Bimbo's family was... Better. Better. So, you know, and that um, at, at the end of the day, she dropped out of school, and the parents were so concerned, like they would um, take her back home and they would want to detach her from the boy. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, she was going back to, to him. And, um, well, she got pregnant. And they just had to, like, support them. They got married. In fact, according to stories online, that the mother had to forfeit, that is, Bimbo's mother had to forfeit her car, give it to them because they did not have anything. They were just starting and all that. Um, so it went on like that, and they said that they've, they, they've been having some, you know, a lot of back and forth. In, in fact, from some videos, you see that there is um, IVD2 is complaining about how he's been, uh, how he's been abused, uh, you know, uh, and then Bimbo2 is complaining. Bimbo left and then came back, and there are so many, uh, in fact, versions. In fact, some people are saying that uh, if uh, they are diabolical, uh, Bimbo started going to herbalist so, so that you know so that they can be rich and that sometimes she will enter the market looking mad and afterwards ivd will be you know tremendously you know rich like that and um you know it's been like that back and forth and they now said that this one that led the last straw that broke the camel's back was that bimbo wanted to leave she already has five children she wanted to leave and she was scared because you know what does she take out of the marriage and that she wanted to take the how, uh, the, the, um, house, the, the, house? the house, and she had the papers, and that maybe somebody so, um, told IVD, IVD came down, and uh, somehow she, she set um, uh, the house ablaze, and she was like, okay, you know what, we're just going to, according to the news, and that she dragged IVD into it, but somehow okay. he got himself out, yeah. and she, also, she got burnt, yeah, and, uh, that, and she passed on Saturday, last uh, Saturday. Info. Saturday. Also a part of the story that um, talks about the fact that probably she's always been suicidal, She's always been suicidal. She had tried several times to take her life. A uh, video came out showing her dancing. She had these um, bandages on. They said that's how she's been trying to take her life for as long as they remember her. And the viol violence has been between that she is more of the violent one. So she's dead right now. But the I think we should just take the lessons yeah, from right. the issue yeah. and so, discuss.